Hello everyone. Welcome to our TV magazine shows. So our topic for this show is Big journey begins with small steps. So in this show we will share to you about the tips how to travel in low budget travel. So uh, the tips that we share to you in this show is before traveling, during traveling and after the after traveling. I hope you enjoy this show. Finding a place to stay can be quite difficult sometimes. It may cost an arm and a leg to you because not all places are cheap and not all places are expensive. As for the place that you want to go, you want to stay, you can you have to consider about the price, the transportation used to get to the place and also the distance from the hotel and also the to other places that you want to go. As for right now we are using agoda.com to find the right place to stay. There are also a few other websites that you can use. For example, you can use Traveloka and also you can use Trivago. The ball is in your court, so make sure you choose the right hotel to stay. All you have to do is to go to Agoda website to survey about the place you're going to stay. Make sure you take your time to find the right place to stay. It's just to avoid over expenses of the amount they are going to spend. Enter the place that you are going to stay. I mean the area, for example, Bukit Bintang and for the date, you have to choose a date that is on point uh, might consider a date that is on weekdays and also try to avoid on public holidays uh, so that you, you, are not, uh, you are not going there you are not going to the place that is very very crowded and duration, the duration of time that we are going to stay is around two, three days and two night because um, KL has many attraction places, so we do not want to waste our time in just going to one place. At uh, in just going to one place in one day only. We suggest that you uh, choose Hotel Royal Palm Lodge because this is one of the cheapest hotel in Bukit Bintang and it is very very benefit to us because the the MRT is just a stone's throw away which is 170 meters from the hotel and it has a dorm room type of hotel but don't worry for people who might feel insecure by the security of the hotel you might consider other hotel which is uh, this hotel the sims boutique hotel because um, the reason is uh, it has many good reviews and they say that this place has a good security is a little bit far from uh, the is a little bit far from MRT but 250 meters is just fine if we want to walk and as for the room they have a single bedroom and it's a bonus for you if you want to have a room with a TV inside a goal without a plan is just a wish Therefore, to reduce the cost of the journey, we can make a survey on the cheapest place that we wanted to go and the cheapest transportation that we can take to get there. An official tourist website is the most reliable source to gain all this information. By having all this information, we can have a well-organized plan and our journey will be better. For example, if we wanted to go to Kuala Lumpur, we can go to the Visit KL website which is established under the City Hall of Kuala Lumpur. Here, we can click on what thing we want to do and we can find the places that we wanted to go. Also, we can go to the accommodation 
and we can search the transportation that we wanted to take. The approximate value for our TV magazine show is around 300 because that includes all the transportation, the place they are going to stay and also the foods they are going to eat. I can say that it's dead cheap because most of the people, most usually people will travel around 500 to 1k because that includes the place that they are going to go. Most of the place that we are going to go is free of charge. So make sure to watch our TV magazine show. Hello everyone, we are here at the Kuala Lumpur Central. This is the place where all public transportation gathers such as LRT, MRT and also KLI Express. That is why we can see this place is very hustle and bustle. Hello everyone, now we are heading to KLCC Okay, so the faster routes from this KL Central is by, K is by LRT So now I will show you how to buy a ticket Welcome to our first destination, the Petronas Art Gallery, also known as Gallery Petronas. It is founded in 1993 and it holds around 1,000 international, traditional and contemporary works of art, ranging from costumes to crafts, paintings and photographs. It is also very really easy to find because it is located within Surya KLCC. Art is slow and life is short, so make sure you visit this space uh, to get the full experience. So best this gathering. The gallery was so nice and interesting. You can know more about Malaysian culture when you come here, so make sure to visit. Hi, and now we're going to go to Bukit Bintang and we're going to go there by bus. This is a free bus. Right now, we have arrived at the Royal Palm Lodge Hotel. This is one of the cheapest hotels in Bintang. 
The price for one room is just 20 ringgit and 43 cents. It is just cheap as chips in the name. The Monori station, the Monori station is just a stone turn away from this hotel, which is about 200 meters. We are now at Jalan Alo Night Market. Here, you can find variety type of street food. Also, you can find fruit, mango, durian, dragon fruit, just name it. They are all here. We are now at MRT Bukit Bintang. Our next station is Perdana Botanical Garden. We will take MRT uh, and stop at Museum Negara Station. And then we will walk for 1.7 km. Hi, now we are at Perdana Botanical Garden. This garden is one of the largest garden in Kuala Lumpur. There are a few other parks in this garden, such as Butterfly Park, Deer Park, Hibiscus Park, and etc. Hi, this is the Deer Park one of the many parks inside the botanical garden. In this park, you can see many species of deer, including mouse deer, fellow deer, axis deer, and samba deer. Inside, you can also find cafes, prayer rooms for Muslims, and breathtaking scenery for photography. If you ever feel tired, don't worry, because you will easily find this vending machine everywhere around this park, and you will feel as fresh as Daisy after that. The Hibiscus Park showcases the various species of Malaysia national flower, the Bunguraya, or also known as Hibiscus rosa sinensis. There are also other attractions such as waterfall, fountains, and also pools. Okay, now we're, we are at the Malaysia Cartoon and Comic House. As you can see that there is a lot of cartoon which is Boba Boy and others, Kambu Boy and others. And um, at this side, we can see we have Herbarium. <laughs> the other attractions are here. And you can take some pictures here to enjoy it. Hi, okay, now we are at Jalan Tunku Abdul Rahman Night Market uh, also known as Jalan Ta Night Market As you can see there are a lot of things that you could find in this uh, night market such as food, accessories, souvenir, bags and etc. Hi, we are here at National Art Gallery where there are over 2,500 jaw dropping works of art from the local reading artists and 40 works of art are exhibited. Temporary artwork including painting, sculpture and photography are placed at the ground floor of the gallery where a second and third floor holds permanent collection of the gallery and the last floor of a more of traditional artwork for the visitor to view. This gallery is a must visit place. We have arrived at the central market that is located at Jalan Tun Tan Cheng Lok. It was built in 1888 by the British in colonial British Malaya. 
New Central Market was used for wet market for the Kuala Lumpur citizens and also teen minutes at that time. Travelers can scroll through the many sections that exist within the Central Market from the Royal, from the Lorong Melayu, Straight Chinese and Lorong India which is located on the West Wing. The second floor hosts a food court offering an array of food and there are many things that is being sold here so you might be spoiled for choice. Hi guys, so when traveling, we struggled to find the best souvenir for our family and for our relatives. So we just can buy the cheaper things from the market or just take a free items like uh, beautiful stones or sand uh, at re everywhere. So uh, it ca we can make uh, two things in one time So and it is as easy and as ABC. Yes, that is true. Also, a picture paints a thousand words. Instead of resorting to pricey alternatives, you can also capture memories by using your phone. Uh, then you can <laughs> you can upload the plenty of pictures to free cloud storage like Google Drive to save space on your device. And you also can capture your video for your own video for the memories for yourself. Hi guys, now I'm with Miss Shahira. So Miss Shahira, have you ever go to travel before? Uh, yes. Uh, how much money did you spend on your travel? Um, around seven hundred to thousand. Wow, that's much. Uh, what tips you would like to share to make low budget travel real? Oh, low budget. Uh, for me, I think um, I always share with my friends or my family the budget. So, uh, or I will go to the place that uh, there is people that I know, so they can be my tour guide or they can um, inform me or no, no guide to the place that uh, affordable. And lastly, uh, always searching for the. Uh, ticket promotion. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss, for your contribution. Hi, I am with uh, Miss Rohadatu. Hi, Miss. I would like to ask some question. Have you ever go travel before? Uh, yes, I have. How much money did you spend on your travel? Uh, the lowest that I have spent is around seven hundred ringgit for three days and two nights, which uh, where I go to Sarawak. Um, and what tips would you like to share to make low budget travel real? Okay, first thing I would say that you must buy ticket flights earlier than uh, earlier than your uh, expected time travel, and then you need to uh, go holiday on off seasons so that you can get cheaper price tickets. And then I would say if you travel with your family, then maybe you can cut on your meals. You can go to groceries and cook the meals uh, by yourself. Okay, thank you. Hi, today we are with Miss Naziha and I would like to ask Miss Naziha a few questions about travel. Hi Miss Naziha. Hi. Um, have, have you ever got to travel before? Yes. And how much money did you spend on your travel? Around 1k above, I think. Um, and what tips would you like to share to make low budget travel real? Before you go to travel, you have to prepare it and you have, you have to survey it by googling it. Okay, that's all. That's a very useful tip. I think that's all from us. Thank you. Uh, hi, we are doing a topic on budget traveling. Have you ever been traveling before? Yes, I yeah. do. So, how much usually do you spend on a trip? Usually about 500 for a trip. 500? Yeah, 500. Uh, so, can you share with us some of the tips that you can do to save money while going on a trip? Uh, I think we need to plan early before our trip so that um, we will consume less much of money mm -hmm. as then that uh, we need to avoid uh, tourist attraction and not spending a <laughs> large uh, amount of money yes, on, uh, on the tourist attraction yes. okay. it's a very nice tip but...
Yeah. Uh -huh.